Okay, here we are again at the Gloucester Shipyard with the uh, Tea Party Ship Beaver. We're just about ready to hang another plank. Uh, last week we put one plank on. This time we got a plank with quite a bit of twist and bend to it, so we're going to have to steam it to get it on. Uh, what we have right here is a steam box. I think we're just about ready to go. Hey, Ed, you want to go ahead and check that steam? Check the temperature there. Good. About 220? All set. Let's go. We have to handle this with welder's gloves. That plank is right now about 220 degrees. We've got a few minutes to get it on there before it starts to cool. Uh, John's ready there with the clamp. At this point over right here, we're gonna twist it in and we're clamping a, uh, putting a clamp on here, clamping on a piece of angle iron and then we put a come along on and this gives it the uh, twist and we'll pull it right up into the transom there. What it's using there is a uh, twist drill with a uh, counter bore that's attached to the, uh, to the drill itself. And uh, this way we can drill the, not only the spike hole, we drill the bung hole at the same time. Well, as you've seen, we've put another plank on the vessel. Uh, this whole process will be repeated another 12, 14 times. We've got more planks to go. The uh, process generally is that we take a uh, two and a half inch white oak plank. It has to be spiled, which is making a pattern. And then we cut that plank out. The frames have to be flattened, or what we call dubbed, and the plank is ready to go on the boat. First, we have to steam many of them because a lot of them have a, uh, a bend or a twist in it. And this two and a half inch oak is uh, not very forgiving unless he has some steaming done to it. What Ed and John are doing now is that once that spike is in, it has to be set. And Ed's holding what they call a spike set and John's using a pin maul to drive it home. After that, the bung holes will be filled with a plug called a bung, and those will be sanded off flush with the edge of the outside of the planking. What we have here is the oak planking as it comes from the sawmill. Uh, this log was originally about 30 inches in diameter and as it goes through the sawmill it's cut what we call slab sawn and that means that we leave the bark on until we're ready to make the plank out of the stock here. Uh, we make a pattern which is called a spile or a spiling board and from that we transfer the shape of the plank onto the stock and once it's cut out and shaped and it's ready to go on the vessel. Well, that does it for this week. Uh, as you saw, we got this plank in. Uh, we've got about 14 more to go, 15, whatever. And uh, Rob here is working on the stern and we'll be planking across the stern. And he's making frames now. They're gonna go from the bottom of the stern gallery down to the transom. And that will be planked completely across. And we've got a plank down this other side to go and some more planks on the bottom. So that's what's coming up. And that's it for now.